Hello, Business 110. George here again. So this is my Appendix 2 Business Law Assignment. So the breach of contract case that I chose was a case that happened back in 2014. It was Nike, the uh, athletic company, suing three of its designers for a breach of contract. Just tell you a little bit about it. Um, Nike filed the breach of contract against three of its clothing and shoe designers. Their names, I'm going to probably mess these up, but it's Mark Dulce, Dennis Dekovich, and Mark Miner. So Nike was suing them for $10 million for breach of contract, uh, specifically their non-competing clause that was in their contract. So the clause said that they could not work for a competitor, so in any um, athletic competitor, for a whole year after leaving leaving Nike. Um, it also claimed that they had been working on an Adidas back design. So that's that's kind of the company that they were going to work for was Adidas. So the lawsuit claims that they started negotiations with Adidas while still full-time at Nike. So it says that how they kind of tried to get around this non-complete non-compete clause was they tried to open up their own design center that was backed by Adidas. So they were trying to kind of make their own third-party company that's not a competitor, but they would be working exclusively for Adidas. So they definitely tried to do some, some shady stuff. Um, it claims that they were working on an, a design for Adidas that was largely a knockoff of the products that they had been working for at Nike. It also claims that um, one of the designers, uh, Dennis Dekovich, actually got uh, Nike to pay him $50,000 to relocate to Italy right before all of this went down. And it actually ended up coming out that Dekovich chose Italy because he thought that it would be one of the countries that it would be hard to, that it would be hard to prosecute him for a non-compete clause. I guess that has something to do with the business laws in Italy. I didn't really find anything about that. It was kind of tough to find. But um, it says that... Um, the three definitely knew what they were doing was wrong because part of their negotiations with Adidas was that Adidas would pay for the legal expenses of this upcoming suit that they knew was going to happen. So they definitely knew what they were doing was wrong. Um, let me see if I find anything else. All right, yeah, so um, th that seems to be pretty much it. So just like I said, they, they were designers for Nike decided while they were still working for Nike that they were going to try to leave and work for Adidas, possibly to make more money. They tried to open that design center that I talked about to try to evade the non-competition clause. Um, it ended up settling. Obviously, the three designers lost because, I don't know if you could tell from <laughs> what I've just told you, but they were clearly up to, up to no good. They were just trying to make more money while also getting paid by Nike. They probably just didn't want to wait that full year to get paid more from Adidas. So the settlement amount was actually not disclosed by either Nike or Adidas, um, but it's assumed that it was it was a substantial amount of money, and they don't nobody thinks it was the full ten million dollars, but they definitely think it was several million, as well as all of the designers had to fork over any designs that they had been working on for Nike. So just to make sure that they didn't lose any intellectual property. Um, one statement that the attorney for Nike made was just that, that was just that they will work vigorously no matter what, to protect any of their intellectual and design property. So um, definitely the designers were in the wrong here, and I think that the case went about as good as you can. Um, a lot of companies actually do non-competition clauses, even, um, I don't know if you guys watched my the, the other video for this week, but I work at a doggy daycare, and I even have a non-competition clause in my um, contract saying that I can't work, I can't leave and directly go to another um, daycare. Uh, um, doggy boarding facility. So it's definitely a common thing um, in business contracts just to prevent people from using a position at one company to leverage into a higher paying position at the other. It's just to try to keep their workers there um, and not get duped into a $10 million lawsuit. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole case. And yeah.